Hi everyone, my name is Vic of ES Market Biz and I'm back to show you our daily newsletter updates. Okay, so without further ado, let's go to the topic. Alright, so the newsletter for today is brought to you by PreferredCurrency.News where you subscribe for only $15 a month or $180 a year. So um, once you subscribe to this subscription website, um, you'll get notified of the latest updates on cryptocurrencies and not only on the latest updates but also the best coins or tokens of the day brought to you by their publisher Donald the Guru okay so here is this sample of the newsletter and now I'm going to uh, explain to you everything what's inside here okay so Okay, so let's start from the top. So here uh, at the top, uh, you'll see the main story. So you'll see here three um, news. So these are the uh, latest news of the day. Okay, so first one is Tether announces new bank banking partner as Deltek Bank with 1.8 billion in account. So Tether, while one of the most Traded coins in existence is also one of the most controversial. Most of this controversy is due to the fact that it is apparently backed with fiat currency. However, Tether has refused to be audited, leading some to believe that it is merely a manipulation tool for Bitcoin price. However, Tether has made some revelation about their financing, stating that they have 1.8 million with Bahamas-based Deltic Bank and Trust Limited. So their proof of this was a letter attributed to the bank which confirmed the amount held by Tether with them though our spokesperson for the bank is yet to comment on the matter okay so let's continue reading uh, to read the full story uh, just click continue reading there okay so let's wait for it to load so let's just uh, let's open the rest first so that it'll save time it'll save us time Go see. So here's the main story. So where were we? Okay, so Deltek, according to their website, is an independent financial services group that delivers bespoke solutions. So controversies. So Tether has for a long time been believed to simply be created to manipulate the price of Bitcoin. This was due to the fact that Tether's claims of being backed by fiat currency had not been confirmed. On top of that, certain partners were observed in the rise and fall of the price of Bitcoin and the value of Tether. However, a recent study seems to be debunked to the claim, I mean, seems to have debunked the claim, stating that the reason for the shifts was due to investors rushing to fiat backed coins after a slump in the value of traditional cryptocurrencies. Now that Tether has provided some proof of their funds, perhaps critics will have some more faith in them. Okay, so let's continue reading. Quote, this process of due diligence was conducted over a period of several months and garnered positive results, which led to the opening of our bank account with this institution. Zeltec reviews our company on an, on an ongoing basis, Tether said in their announcement. This also addresses the issue of Tether's previous bank, Novel Bank, apparently being insolvent. The rumors of this led many to believe that Tether itself would lose all its funds. This lead to further rumors that Binance would soon delist Tether back in October 2018. With this new move, it seems Tether is now out of the woods. Okay, so that's the headlines or the main story. So Tether now this new market partner as Deltic Bank, bank with 1.8 billion in account. Okay, so the next um, story is. There's a new plan to build the hardware for Ethereum 
The Ethereum Foundation is funding efforts to create specializing running hardware in partnership with Blockchain Data Storage Network Filecoin. And that's Thursday at DevCon, the annual gathering of developers in Prague. Ethereum Foundation researcher Justin Drake unveiled pre preliminary designs for application-specific integrated circuits, or ASICs, that will support an upcoming Ethereum technology called the Beacon Chain. Okay, so let's read the full story. In essence, the Beacon Chain is a random number generator and it's expected to form part of the next major iteration of the new or of the ethereum network ethereum 2.0 under an alternative proof of stake consensus protocol compared to the proof of work approach utilized today so while that term asic in the cryptocurrency space is more commonly associated with the technology applied to mining the proposed ethereum 2.0 hardware isn't engage, engaging in that same computation, computationally intensive process. Instead, these ASICs devices will engage in a compar comparatively less costly operation known as the verifiable delay function. This helps the shuffle, I mean, to shuffle the validators that are intended to replace miners in Ethereum's proof of stake system. The idea is that the hardware will prevent any, anyone, individual organization with coalescing enough power to overtake system operations. As told, or I mean all told, the project is estimated to cost between $20 million and $30 million according to Drake. That includes $15 million to $25 million for research and development as well as Five million dollars to build an estimated five thousand machines. Okay. So this is good news also. So the next one is Chinese wealth manager Lufax eyeing P2P lending with blockchain. So while China's negative stance towards cryptocurrencies is clear as day, amid tight regulation since 2017. The country's financial industry has embraced the benefits of the technology behind digital currencies. China's leading online wealth management group Lufax has plans to adopt the blockchain technology to cut costs and promote compliance. Lufax is transferring its entire peer-to-peer -peer lending portfolio with tens of billions of US dollars onto the blockchain platform, according to the post. I mean to a post on South China Morning Post. Okay, so let's read the full story. So the group's chief, group's chief executive officer Greg Gibb told the ongoing Hong Kong FinTech Week 2018 on Wednesday, October 31, 2018, that the nature of the distributed ledger technology or DLT is what serious players in the sector need to improve transparency and bring down costs. So according to Gibb, the P2P industry is under siege and hundreds of platforms from the existing 1,500 in business today are likely to disappear, he explained. Quote, the problem for the P2P lending sector, not just in China but also globally, is that it is not transparent. So if we could put all the contract terms between a borrower and a lender on the blockchain ledger, then these will become unalterable. Okay? So blockchain technology by its very nature is trustless and decentralized, making it possible to transfer the ownership of assets from one individual to another with no intermediaries, in this case banks. The distributed ledger helps to build on the timeless peer-to-peer -peer lending and makes the whole process seamless and reduces the time it takes for the entire process to be completed. So this is because smart contracts enable lenders to develop validate transactions, verify the legitimacy of counterparties, and perform routine, routine account administration procedures in real time. So P2P lenders using blockchain can help reduce delays, make quick approvals, eliminate the need for middlemen, and be, bring transparency. Okay. So those are the three main stories of the day. So, okay.
right so let's proceed so also below that uh, is the invitation to the private group for subscribers in telegram okay and also is a, a tool where you can get alerts about your ears transactions so this is a website where you can register there so this is eusauthority.com slash alerts so account name and email address just put it there and then get alerts okay so also our other useful links aside from use authority so these two are marketplace websites so use marketplace.news and marketplace.bcn now today so as you can see this is a uh, uh, marketplace websites there's a lot of items already right okay so you can okay so you can choose here and then if you're what interested in one of the items you can contact them here or using rather using the phone uh, the contact numbers listed here or the email address okay so keep in mind that you can always put your own listings here so if you have some items that are for sale there or for rent you can post it here and also in marketplace.pcn today okay so also is the news website all right so it is also updated so if you're bored and you want to read the latest news on cryptocurrencies visit pcn today also Okay, so if you're new also on cryptocurrencies and you want to um, trade, you can exchange your US dollars into Bitcoin in pro.coinbase.com and the link is also here in the newsletter. And also if you want to exchange your Bitcoin to EUS and the link to Binance is also here. Okay, so also um, this there's an information here that there's a free EOS wallet that is downloadable in the google play store and in your favorite app store so you can use eos most easily all right so okay so also found here is a is a website or a link to the website that will redirect you to eosdrops.io so eosdrops.io is a link or is a website rather uh, that will inform you of the upcoming and latest eos drops okay so currently there are 57 EUs airdrops, right? So let's go back. So if you have not yet transferred all of your EUs off of the exchanges yet, and you have problems doing that, you can contact all the guru because he will help you personally on how to do it. Okay, so aside from that all, uh, the top coins uh, on Donald the Guru's research are also here so these are bitbay cardano dash litecoin wabi bitcoin use teller tron and zrx so you can also um to click um to read the full information of his research you can always click open spreadsheet here and you can add, edit it here by following the instructions at the bottom so the ones that are colored blue are the great coins or the coins or tokens that are showing the best news so if you still don't understand um, some of the information in the spreadsheet you can call or contact all the guru and he'll help you understand what some of the uh, information here are okay so aside from that uh, the high volume change the interesting technical price action the high weekly trade volume and the high google search activity um, lists are also here in the newsletter so these are um, guides okay so this will serve as your guide right so also is that if you want to earn crypto each month and you want to earn affiliate commissions for seven levels deep join their affiliate program so all you have to do is just click the picture here or you can go directly to the website and click affiliate at the upper right corner right so also um also found here in the newsletter are lists of top popular exchanges like Binance, Bbox, Crypto, Scriptopia, and Coin Exchange. Okay. So aside from use marketplace and marketplace.pc and that today, there's also another um, 
website where you can our marketplace website where you can use cryptocurrency in exchange for use compatible tokens the, this is openbazaar.org alright so also is a link that will redirect you to a visa debit card that you that is a uh, that is that where uh, that's where you can link your litecoin bitcoin cash ethereum and bitcoin to it so this is the, uh, the coinbase shift card so the link is also here so as you can see that is our newsletter so isn't our newsletter full of information am i right so to receive this kind of uh, newsletter subscribe at preferredcurrency.news and this newsletter changes every day so this is updated every day so don't be left behind and yeah subscribe at preferredcurrency.news so this is only for $15 a month or $180 a year right so before I go I just want to say that I am not a financial advisor and everything I say here is not a recommendation for you to buy and sell using crypto so you must always do your own research for deciding for yourself right so I think that's all okay guys Please don't press up, uh, forget to press the like button and subscribe. Alright, so this is Vic signing off.